Guys, in this video, I want to show you the $349,000 retargeting strategy for Facebook ads. And you can just take this strategy and just implement it directly into your business and get amazing results. So you can see it made us $349 thousand dollars in this small store and that's uh, so that's for the lifetime but if we would check let's say just like last 30 days it made us seventy three thousand dollars adjust in the last 30 days as you can see here and I mean that's pretty much the strategies that can work over time you just set up once and you just get the benefits of it for a long long time Now, this is a niche store, guys, right? And this small niche store that does approximately, you can see $300,000 per month as of now, uh, 352. With backend, it does over $400,000. We are expecting to get approximately $600,000 to $700,000 in, um, you know, during like Q4 per month. And uh, this is the store that uh, we are currently uh, in the process of selling. So in case you're interested, guys, then just inquire about that. And uh, guys, if you wanna uh, get help with scaling your business during this Q4, uh, then there should be a link below this video uh, where you can apply to for, to for a call with our team and we'll see if we can help. This is only for people who already do volume. Uh, this is not for people who are just starting out. This is for people who do like 1,000, 5,000, ten thousand dollars a day in sale want to scale farther so just check out that link but so the retargeting strategy here guys as you can see and i'll show you in a second so you can see guys the campaign here only has six ad sets right this is it it only has six ad sets here so we have 75 percent video viewers of top videos uh, last 100 365 days we have top 25 website visitors 180 days we have facebook engagers in the last 365 days, we have Instagram engagers in the last 365 days. Now, you can see this is ABO strategy. Each of these ad sets has a dedicated budget. And the ad sets that have performed the best are the people who have engaged in the last 14 days. And then the people who have engaged and also the top visitors of the website in the last 28 days. So you can see these ad sets here, right? Like we initially validated them with small budgets, right? We validated them with small budgets, like 10, $20 per ad set. But then once we started to see the results, we just uh, increased the budget dramatically. And you can see while it has this like very high like uh, budget, uh, you know, just for one ad set, it still maintains the ROAS, right? This is very, uh, good point guys if you have let's say retargeting ad sets that are working well on small budget then what i would recommend is for you to raise those budgets like you know dramatically and just to see how it works because for us like it worked out pretty well so first i guess we increased it to what 100 dollars it worked well then we increased it farther and then we just got it to the point where it is now where it's very consistent and very predictable and you can see just last 30 days generated just these two assets generate like seventy thousand dollars so the break-even host on this product just so you know guys like it's about like 1.6 so we are very very profitable with this business and the ads guys here that i wanted to show you so that it has five ads right so it has five ads here and so these are mostly guys let's say if you have you know different like reviews let's say you send products for like influencers their services that you can use uh, to send your product to influencers and they'll basically review the product for you and they'll send you the video review, right? So this, these are the ads that you could use, for example, for this like retargeting campaign, right? And once it's validated, once it's proven successful, then you can even use it for a cold acquisition campaign, guys. So uh, let me show you one company that can, can help you to do that. You can see here, like for just $59, you can have the, the custom content created Right, and so they have some, let's say, let's get some examples, right? And so this is the perfect stuff that you can use for here. So this is the perfect stuff that you can use for the retargeting, right? So people have like more trust in, in your brand. People have more, you know, kind of like relate to other people that show your product, that use your product. 
this is the stuff that you can use and you can use this app called uh, as you can see below it's called below app so I'll probably drop the link below in the description guys so you can take advantage of this one and highly recommend you guys just try it out like you, their pricing is very like reasonable it's 59 dollars per video it will take like a few days for you to get it then you have the 265 so it's slightly cheaper 53 dollars per video if you if you buy more than 470 dollars that's 47 dollars per video now it's, you can source a lot of content this way now you can obviously reach out to influencers or send them your products by yourself but this here you just come and and use their pool of influencers and use the content they can produce for you and this is more you know faster option obviously in q4 where you need a lot of content where you need a lot of content to to use so this is ugc content right guys so i highly recommend you can see a lot of the a lot of companies are using their service and uh we've used their service we use uh we use their ads and they in many cases just like outperform other you know things that we have been using so i highly recommend you guys check this out now the success of this particular retargeting campaign guys comes down to one thing right it comes down to one thing which is basically resonating with your customers right like so for us for example we have this is a niche store and we have the specific message right we have the specific message uh, specific niche right so if you're just selling for example let's say if you're just selling like the these are the um, let me just review this just so you guys know what I'm talking about for example these guys are selling they're selling the glasses right but these glasses they're not like industry specific or niche specific so they're general right and so when they sell those you can see they're not advertising heavy and i think the reason for that is because they're not like appealing to any particular niche right i might be wrong but like let me just review the website here they're not appealing to any specific niche they don't say like these are the specifically the blue light glasses by for let's say like i don't know computer engineers right or these are the computer light glasses for like staying home moms you know that work on their laptops They're, these are not like a glasses for like specific audience now what it gets them to right and at the end of the day guys like i mean you're not the only advertiser on facebook right i'm not the only advertiser on facebook at the end of the day we're in the harsh competitive environment right we are competing with other people and so what happens is like so when these guys are advertising they have you can see their team is not that big but what happens is with these people with their glasses right blue light now you don't want to be competing for the same product with the offer that is not differentiated with these type of guys because i mean this is a company movement if you guys know this story this company has been acquired for 100 million dollars after like five years after it was created in 2018 and now this company belongs to Movado Group, which is like big watch group out of Switzerland. So they have like big resources. They have a lot of cash, right? They can spend money on just like advertising, just like brand awareness stuff. Like you can see their, their ad copy is very simple, right? The message is very like wide appeal. But at this point, at this point, guys, they can do it, right? Whether you know the guys that i showed you can do it right probably not right they cannot go this wide like they they have to like dial in their message they have to dial in the uh, basically you know who they reach out maybe they're they this is their niche let's say you know working moms right their niche is you know the i don't know like engineers again right like designers right so specifically watches for designers right have to dial it in because otherwise you are competing with people that just like you compete with people with unlimited budgets right in many cases and you don't want to do that so this is the secret of success of for particular this store which is you know delivers about 50 percent you know like some months like 50 percent profitability and uh this is it right because there is a niche specific niche specific message for that particular niche and this is why it is successful so guys obviously there is advertising strategy i showed you the re retargeting aspect of it like how it works like how it's structured like just one audience that just like, absolutely will blow up your results but then also think about the overall strategy when you when you think about your facebook advertising and if your facebook ads are, are not working then you're probably not going like deep enough on your specific audience right so this is guys what i wanted to share with you in this video uh, just dial in the message niche down like if you if you sell like 
devices, like for you know gadgets, you know whatever you're selling for everyone, like just dial it in, right? Just dial it in because this is the way to build the brand, right? You cannot build the brand that just like appeals to everyone. You cannot build a brand that just like designed to protect your eyes, but it's for everyone. It's like it's not niche specific. It's not you know who is this for? Like it's for everyone. But it's, if you're trying to appeal to everyone, at the end of the day, you're not appealing to to anyone. So. Yeah, guys, check it out. You can also, guys, uh, what I wanted to share with you is you can use this amazing tool, which is called Unicorn Ads. It is absolutely free. And you can use this tool to just identify the products. Let's say, so if you go like, you can see there are like different niches here. You can just go here, right? Let's say, I mean, obviously this is a big brand or they're not like, yeah, they're advertising, right? So you can just like, check it out like whatever your niche is let's say you're selling fitness products you're selling electronics you're selling accessories you're selling like personal items whatever you sell you can just go here it'll like reverse engineer a lot of stuff for your specific niche like see how companies are selling and guys again you can do very well like you can have like a small niche store that does like 300 500 1 million dollars per month if you're just dialing in on specific market segments, right? You cannot go broad. You cannot go like that broad. Like previously we would go broad, right? Like that's also a strategy in our business. Like, but now we see the shift, you know, broad, I mean, Chinese manufacturers, Chinese, like, uh, you know, people who, who like sell products directly from China, they can go broad, right? Like, I mean, they can just lower their prices, just go like hyper broad, just milk every single product. But if you don't have that infrastructure, and if you don't want to build a business, just like general store, like da da da, just you know, like hit and run, like every single product. But you want to build a sustainable business that is sellable. I mean, you cannot sell a general dropshipping store. It like it takes like it takes like a big team and it takes like human resources to operate it. And even if you sell it, the multiple on that will not be good. Whereas, for example, with this niche store, we're looking for a good multiple. We're looking for about 4x multiple on the annual profitability with this store. And we'll get a great deal, I'm, I'm sure of it. If not, we'll just milk it because it's hyper profitable. You know, like it, you just look one, one way or another. We're in a very good position, guys. But for your business, just try to dial in on what is your ideal like custom, what is your ideal kind of like niche that you want to go after. And everyone sells to everyone you sell to that specific niche. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, if you're looking for help scaling your business, build something sustainable over long term, build the brand, not just like simple drop shipping store, then there should be a form or a link below that you can apply to for a program. Uh, we'll see if you know, we can help you to scale your business. Uh, this is only for people who already do like, you know, volume. This is not for people who are just starting out. This is for people who do like 1000, 5000, $10,000 a day in sales want to scale up their business to the next level. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you can just like this video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. Thank you.